Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome to Goal Line Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Ford saying we are taking a look at my second favorite team today, the Anaheim Ducks. Well, we're not really looking at the Ducks today. We're more looking at the AHL affiliate of the Anaheim Ducks, the San Diego Gulls. They just got their franchise record fifth win in a row to start the regular season. We're going to be taking a look at the guys that are leading the way for the San Diego Gulls this season. If you guys like what we're doing here at Goal Line Hockey, want to see the latest news around the NHL, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and even bigger subscribe down below. And let's take a look at the San Diego Gulls. So that right now is what the San Diego Gulls are doing. Corn off. The rifle because they are playing so well right now. The San Diego Gulls set a franchise record to start a regular season last night or the other night, winning their fifth straight game to start the season. They're five and zero to start this campaign, and we're going to be looking at some of the guys that are doing it all for the Gulls. A couple of names that. Hmm, that guy was drafted last year. Hmm, that guy should have made the roster this year. We're going to be looking at that now. Now, I think you guys know where this is the, this direction is going. Probably based off of the thumbnail, you already know what I'm going to be looking at. Let's just say I'm pretty excited right now about the Anaheim Ducks future. Looking at the guys that are doing it right now, you've got Sam Carrick in there, a good NHLer. He's got two goals this year. Uh, Josh Mahura. Three points as a defenseman, not bad. Vinny Latiri picking up two goals and two assists in the first five games. Chase DeLeo, he's got five points on the year. And then the two-headed monster for the San Diego Gulls at center and on defense. Jamie Drysdale, two goals and three assists through those first five games at the professional hockey league level. Let me say that again. Five points in his first five AHL games. Now again, I make the caveat, it is the American Hockey League. Okay, okay, you you have a point, but he's still doing it. And this is a guy that a lot of people felt, ah, he, including myself, he might take longer to develop because he's a more offensive-minded defenseman, which uh, obviously we could clearly see that. And we've seen guys around the NHL make it work, even in the state of California. Guys like Brett Burns now... Eric Carlson, who is there now, as well as other guys, you know, like a Roman Yossi, who's a little bit more defensive-minded, but let's put it, he's, he's offensive-minded as well. So, we see those guys, they sometimes take a little longer to develop. Guys like Victor Hedman, he took a long time to become a Norris Trophy finalist every season. But right now, what we're seeing from Jamie Drysdale is impressive, and the problem is we have to make sure he can play defense as well, especially under Dallas Aikens. Uh, situation in Dallas but the way they do the swarm offense Jamie Drysdale can be a nice piece to that defense the other guy yeah the other guy Trevor Zagros the guy that took over the world junior championships here in the beginning of 2021 no big deal helped the United States win gold this year again no big deal Trevor Zagros five goal uh no five goals two goals and five assists that's good enough for seven points in the American Hockey League with the goals. That is best for the Anaheim Duck or the, the San Diego goals on this roster. He leads the team in points with seven. And Trevor Zagros has been really good. Trevor Zagros, Jamie Drysdale. I keep I follow the San Diego goals on Instagram and I just watch every night. It seems like, oh, Jamie Drysdale scored a goal. Oh, Trevor Zagros scored a goal. Oh, Vinny Latiri scoring. It's unbelievable. This is really exciting because Bob Murray has taken a lot of flack for some of the things that have gone on in Anaheim. And as guys like Corey Perry left the organization, Ryan Kessler left the organization, even some of the defensemen, guys like Brandon Montour, you know, uh, there's been a changing of the guard. When Shea Theodore went to Vegas in the expansion draft, you know, the 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 unfortunate demise of guys like Ryan Kessler going up to Vancouver, you know, it's been a weird situation. Oh, he, what am I kidding? He came to the Anaheim Ducks. Uh, but Ryan Kessler, as he kind of fell off 
over his NHL career. And now we're seeing even guys like Ryan Getzlaff, who are just getting older. But the good news is, they have, unfortunately and fortunately, they have a really good goaltender. John Gibson is single-handedly keeping this team alive in the NHL standings. So, they're not scoring enough goals right now. But, when you have Trevor Zagros and Jamie Drysdale combined for 12 points in the first five games of the AHL season, the points are going to come in Anaheim. So, Ducks fans, yeah, I know, it's a tough start to this season. It's been frustrating for me. They got that nice victory over Vegas in Vegas, their first time winning in Vegas. Uh... That's huge. That's a huge confidence boost. John Gibson has been unreal. I think he already has three shutouts on the season. Um, is he going to get burnt out by the end of the season? Maybe. But like I said, going into next year, and the year after that, and the year after that, the changing of the guard is going to be happening in Anaheim. And we are already seeing it. Guys like, you know, Maxime Comtois, Max Jones, you know, you know, defensemen like Yanni Hakenpa, who kind of came out of nowhere. And you've got other guys like Trevor Zegras and Jamie Drysdale, who will come up next year. And there is excitement in Anaheim. And I am quite excited. The way they are playing in the AHL, the San Diego Gulls, they could go on a run this year. So we'll see what happens. Again, still very early in the season, five games in. But there's a lot to be excited about in Anaheim for these young uh, these young players and Trevor Segros and Jamie Drysdale. So guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. When are we going to see Bob Murray finally decide to bring up Trevor Segros and Jamie Drysdale? Is it going to be at some point this season? Is it going to be toward the trade deadline when they maybe move on from Ryan Getzlaff or another defenseman? Or do we see potentially next season? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. When do you think those guys will come up to the NHL? And if you guys like what we're doing here at Gold Line Hockey, want to see the latest news around the NHL, you guys know what to do. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and even bigger subscribe down below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.